It's been an emotional week in the Big Brother house. This morning and last night, I said, Are you okay, Chanel? I want to talk. Don't Listen to me. me back. But there's one room housemates can always go to let it all out. <laughs> The diary room. Monday, day sixty two, one or seven PM. On Friday, five new Halfway housemates entered Big Brother's Halfway House. Amy, David, Jonty, Carl Louise and Shanessa. Over the last three days, each Halfway housemate has been given the opportunity to visit the Big Brother house. Later today, housemates will decide which two Halfway housemates will live with them permanently. Imagine what Johnny was like at school. You could have had private tutoring at home. Right, that's never... the locker room I say, because I know he's probably took some unkind things. Yeah, exactly. Before. That's what I'm trying to say. Like this is, I just think to myself, I don't see how he could survive in the real world. All right. Yeah, you do think that? I mean, you do. I've, I've asked him his daily routine. It. He's got a friend exactly like him. They like he's got sexy teddies, and they were best friends from when. Mm, yeah. mm. Chanel is in the caravan. Yesterday, Chanel told Big Brother that she wanted to leave the Big Brother house. Later that day, she changed her mind. Sam comes to the diary room. Hello. Hello, Sam. What do you think of the halfway housemates? <gasps> I think they're all dead good. You picked dead good ones, honestly. And that Jonty is so funny. His laugh makes me laugh. I've never heard anyone laugh like that before. Well, actually, my dad does a little bit, but not as bad as that. He's too funny. <laughs> and and David does loves to design dresses like what me and Amanda want to do. And he's, he loves fashion stuff. Oh, they're just dead good. Don't know I'm going to pick, honestly. I know that I definitely like Carl Louise. She's definitely my favourite out of all of him. Because she's, she's like dead sweetie and that, and dead ace. But then I just don't know how to the other ones who to pick, because just like, like them all. I just don't know what I'm going to do. Oh my god, Kimberly Chanel nearly left just a day, big brother. Do not let her leave. She's only joking. I promise when I understand she's only joking. She, she actually is only joking. Do not let her leave. I don't think she's going to leave. No, anyway, but you're not allowed to let her leave. Just don't. Tell Liam that he's got to pick her up so she can't get away. Two or eight p.m. Halfway housemates Carl, Louise, Jonty, and David are in the dormitory. Yeah. I'm just That's expecting right. to go. Yeah, it's not what I was expecting. Quite soon. Um, and yeah, I'm expecting. I actually, it. funny because I, I was saying even in there that I can't imagine how much they're missing their friends and family because I never ever miss people, but yet I have found myself thinking about my friends and my family, and it is actually that thought which makes me think I don't. I could deal with being kicked out of here because I would actually quite like to see them. Yeah. And you know, if I, I don't think anything going to come out of this or anything. I'm just going to have to yeah. go and find you'll, it. You'll have the most amazing uh, memories for, forever. Mm. Some of the housemates are in the garden. There you go. What the? Dragged into everything, man, so... Oh, yeah, no, no, no. You get too involved and then comes up and... Shit. There you go. So, no, I said you it. say it every fucking day, Zach. I don't every something know. different to me. I don't and I'm know. like, oh, well, you know, da 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 da. And then you turn around and okay, well, do you know what? Do you know what? You're to supposed to be a fucking 26 year old man who can have a conversation with somebody and listen to what somebody says without interrupting. Clearly, you're not fucking capable of it. You fucking tread on me like a fucking piece of shit in here. People agree with me. People, people say they agree, but people don't see your sides, Chanel. No, they people don't see fucking your sides. do, because they're not seeing me now being a child like a maniac. They do because they're oblivious to seeing shit you do because... No! People fucking see what I do, Zach, and people say, Chanel, you're out of order for doing this. Chanel, you're out, out, out of order for saying oh. that. And do you know what? I appreciate that people say that to me and I fucking take it on board. What I don't appreciate is how you think I'm an attention-seeking bitch. No, you're, you're doing that to yourself now, Chanel. I'm sorry. 
Walk away. Walk away. Try and take a deep breath for Big Brother. <laughs> Go home is what I want to do. Get away from that ignorant piece of shit person who's made me feel like a dickhead. <laughs> Chanel, Big Brother understands how upset you are and understands. But if you can take a few deep breaths, you will start to feel a little bit better, and then Big Brother can People talk to you. People can't fucking turn their feelings on and off like a fucking stupid water system! <laughs> Big Brother does not want you to turn your feelings on and no, off. No, I don't mean that! I mean that that's obviously what fucking Ziggy Lichman can do! Oh! Obviously he thinks that it is fucking Cupid because, I mean, an angel, because he thinks I'm the fucking same. I never ever want to see this fucking chain playing fucking lion manipulative face ever again. Five or four PM One hour and fifty three minutes ago Chanel left the Big Brother house. Amanda, Sam, Liam and Jerry are in the garden. It was a fight. What? I just found out like a minute ago or something. Must have been flat out. Yeah, yeah. I I I was in a deep, deep sleep. Well, just... you got a look. She wanted to go for a long time and she's hoping with her family now. She'll be having a belter. Yeah. She's got all the good things to come and it's only a couple of weeks, so. Yeah. Everybody be alright. She's left you a nice message, hasn't she? Yeah. Big Brother has called Tracy to the diary room. It's just a bit of a done-in day, really, isn't it? I knew it was on the cards, it was, like, it was in the post yesterday, but that delivery weren't too good, especially for the twins, really, because, uh, you know, they were quite close, as well as Brian, and she sort of like, left a little message on the bed, and uh, Zig didn't even get mentioned, so I think she's been pretty harsh like that. But. Um, I think she's done the best thing, really. It weren't working in here. It was becoming a daily event. They had an argument. It weren't good for everybody in here either. You know, we were still living here. We were still trying to have our experience, and it was just constant. And no one wants to hear rows. You know, it's not good in the hood, really. So, um, for her own sake, I think maybe she did do the right thing. But I think she's done it pretty hard for the girls, and especially for Zig. Well, hey, we've got some more housemates coming in, so maybe that'll just fizz it up a bit more, just to get it buzzing again. That's what we need, man, and we need it soon. <laughs> you know. But yeah, it's been a strange old weekend, I should say. Five eleven p.m. Halfway housemates Jonty, David, and Carl Louise are in the yard. Halfway housemates Amy and Shanessa are in the common room. In the mad, I've never met anybody as close to his teddy bear as him. Except for my daughter. But that's normal. Mm. I mean, I got a few teddies that I'm attached to, but. You know, I'm not like that. It's almost sad, isn't it? Ziggy, Liam, Jerry, Sam and Amanda are in the garden. 
Girls, you know what? I'm sorry for everything that's happened. I really am. It's not your fault. I know, fault. but it kind of is. And it's not a secret. I know, but you know what? We all came in here to, to do what we wanted, you know, to try and do what we do. Yeah. Sugar, do you? Suki, it's not your fault. I think she just like. I know, but it, it, it is my fault, really. It's not, Suki, because she just like. People get stressed out in this house. People deal with it different ways, and she just couldn't like handle it. Brian comes to the diary room. Hello, Brian. Hello, Brian. I just came in really because I didn't want to talk to anyone else. I don't know, I feel stupid. I wish I was left. Oh. It's true because she said she was leaving yesterday, so we should, we should have sort of realised that she was going to go through with it sooner or later. But I think we all thought we'd be able to talk her around, talk her out of leaving, sort of thing. So that she's leaving, left. I'm glad that she was left because she was a nice girl in this house. I don't know, sometimes you feel quite lonely. No, sometimes not many people get in this house. But she never always did. She never always really had time for you and all, sort of thing. And I understood that her mood swings and everything and her tantrums and her, the way she does, it's just, that's just her. It's just the way she does things. Are you okay, Brian? Yeah, I'm okay. I don't I just feel like... I just feel like my Sorry, bro. Would you like to come and talk to Big Brother? It's all right. Um, uh, she was just a really nice person. Sorry about that, bro. Yeah, she was a really nice person. She always had time for me. I really understood her. She was really nice. Like, she was, when I first met her, I thought this pretty girl who looks like posh by I thought she'd be really happy herself. And by the time she left the house, I'd be like, oh, there. By the time, I left this house, my opinion would be, oh, she was a nightmare, sort of thing. She'd be like, up herself, I want to be football's wife, and just completely, just like, superficial. And she never said anything but that, sort of thing. Monday, day 62, 6.50 p.m. Big Brother has gathered the housemates at the sofas to decide which two halfway housemates should become permanent Big Brother housemates. In the halfway house, the halfway housemates are watching their decision on the plasma screen. This is Big Brother. Jerry, which two halfway housemates have been chosen to join you? The two new Big Brother housemates I'm happy to announce will be... Cara Louise and David. I think they'll be ecstatic. Yeah, it'll be really interesting. <laughs> <laughs> you know that we're, we're not going to, this isn't the last we see them. I thought, do you know what I mean? They're here to be I don't want you to be sorry, but I'm so pleased for you. It's really lovely. Everything happens for a reason. It's happening for me, so... You guys are such great guys, I really... I didn't want it to have to be like this. I didn't this was going to happen. Well, we, we all knew two people going in, three people on. weren't going in, it's... Uh... Oh, guys! Oh. You fucking great old man! No, I want to go home now. Where's your rucksack, babe? And oh, yeah. twisted big brother, remember? No, I want to see Paris now, I'm ready now. <laughs> I'm still overwhelmed. <laughs> well, 
They're all they're all good. Listen, each one is good choice. Any, anyone could, could bring something to the house, and that's it. Oh, right, bring oh. them in then, big brother. Bring them in. Okay, okay. They were challenging. This is big brother. Which Shanessa comes to die? Big brother. Shanessa, do you want somebody to go with you? <laughs> no, I'm fine. Sure. Yeah. Sure. yeah. <laughs> I just wanted to go home, big brother, now. And see my daughter. You know, like, it's been an emotional roller coaster. And my personality is obviously too loud for people in here, and they can't appreciate some of the ones that have fun. Everyone's saying that that room is like a fucking mortuary. Shanessa. <laughs> Your big brother experience is not over, and all will be revealed in due course. Do you know what I don't understand though? Like, I try to, like, I don't even try to make people like me. And there's something about fucking, what's his name, David, right? And he had a contingency plan all along. He's even told us he got a plan. And, like, I'm just trying being myself. I haven't acted up or nothing. And I know I said I would never leave, but. <coughs> I'm getting so stressed out. <coughs> I'm getting myself in a terrible state. Shanessa, take a deep breath. Calm down. <coughs> it's just so hard, though. I just wasn't expecting it to be like this. People think that when they come in, they, I don't know, they just think everything is so e you know, easy in life. And it is really hard. I know I'm from, like, a council estate, and, you know, like, I'm just... I'm just a stripper and a single mother and that, but it's just, I don't know, I don't know, so too loud for people, I think. 10.53pm. Two hours and 20 minutes ago, halfway housemates Carl Louise and David were voted permanent Big Brother housemates. However, in a Big Brother twist, the housemates had to choose one housemate to move to the halfway house. They chose Ziggy. All the halfway housemates are in the common room. Um, There's a girl in my who who is exactly like you. Is that what? Looks very much like you. <laughs> and you it's all over. <laughs> I said, and it's all it's over. It's a real gas, man. Would anybody <laughs> like a glass of water? I no, I'm not. I'd love one, please. Shit. I'd love one, please. Okay, anybody else? I'd have a juice free. Oh, shit. She dropped the glass on the floor. Oh, no, no, no. John T. Juice. Water. <laughs> well, that'd be very nice, thank you. Uh, I'll, have, I'll have the lot. <laughs> Well, you get one or the other, so if you don't water, make a choice, you'll have water. water then. You like I choose you. water. <laughs> I've never seen anyone in love. I just like to say it's JT. <laughs> Come on, JT, do I? I've never seen anyone love as much in my <laughs> life. <laughs> Fuck, have I got myself into here? Yeah, I do not know. Jerry and Liam come to the diary room. We and Wakefield are all in 12 doors for I didn't write anything. Hello, Liam. Hello, Hello Hi. Jerry. Can you explain to Big Brother exactly what this is? Yep. It's uh, a little a torment. Of fish. Well, I've just eaten tuna. Um, basically, what's happened is. Somebody we care about very much has taken a bullet for us, uh, all as a group. And so, you know, we want to let him know that we're still thinking about him and care for him. Uh, a little message saying, good luck, buddy, or good luck. And then just, well, in just the a same, piece of paper. I didn't write anything, I just put my toilet paper with my photograph. All right, just, I wrote it. No, you wrote it. Uh-huh. No, it's not that I'm not taking the blame, uh, but... Flippin' lame wrote oh, it, yeah. I haven't wrote anything. I haven't wrote anything because I knew they would say it, so I thought, well... I'm sorry, I know it's I'll, against I'll, the rules. I'll scream it over uh, the wall. Scream. You know, it's very difficult sometimes in here uh, to express how you're feeling at the time, and uh, sometimes, he's, you know, you get quite close to He's our mate, and uh, he self-sacrificed himself for the common good, and... But you, you know, you must understand that it's quite a difficult time for everybody in here, and uh, for somebody I, I care about in here has took a bit of a kick to the, kick to the balls today. Like he's fallen out with Chanel. They've decided to end things. It couldn't work out amicably, really, due to comments that both sides made. Uh, you know, he's 
stayed and she's left, so he feels quite guilty. If he can kind of make amends a little bit uh, by, you know, taking the bullet for everybody, then then it's a good deed done and hopefully he'll feel a lot better about himself when he does this. Jerry's got a tiny penis. And he's got a wee tail, ha <laughs> ha, I've seen it. One twenty-seven a.m. Tracy and Carol are in the living area. Right, so we've got a little task. Sweat. Amy fancies Liam. Who? Sig. Passed a message through. Yeah, I know. They got in trouble. Oh no, 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 no. They came to the door after that. Yeah. Were you here? No, I heard Liam said. All right, yeah. What did he say? Yeah. Zig said there's only a message for Amy. All and right, yeah. Liam said, you know, just pissing about sort of thing. That she's a hot baby. Yeah, it's like just crapping about. What are you saying that Amy fancies Zig? Oh, no, Amy fancies Liam. Bollocks. Oh. Sorry, I don't believe that for a second. All the halfway housemates are in the dormitory. You're fucking mad, there. As days go. As days go. Yeah, well, you don't have these normal days on the outside, do you? No. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, you coming on? Come in, come in. Yeah, let's yeah. come in. Oh, David, Jerry, yeah. Carol Louise and Carol come to the diary room. Yeah. Have, have you heard, heard my thing yet? Have you heard my thing yet? No. Mine's Where do you want to sit? sleek. Unique. <laughs> you love the Hello, big brother. You can dance. Oh, she's so good. <laughs> <laughs> in the diary room, she does all the choruses. <laughs> Hello, it's Hello, plastic. Housemates. It's fantastic. It's transparent. Haven't you noticed? <laughs> <laughs> How long did you take you to come up with that? <laughs> we had five minutes. It was a task. Oh. Me and I Jerry think boy. it's very really evil. It's great. Very isn't creative. It? Isn't it you need a couple of handcuffs. Yeah. I thought they could drill some slots here and... Uh, it's fantastic. Mm -hmm. uh, we just wanted to come in and introduce you to our new housemates. I'm we have Clara Louise here. Hey. Clara, yeah, so <laughs> We have the fabulous David here. Oh, fantabulous. They're gorgeous, <laughs> so thank you for bringing them to us. L <laughs> OK, anything else you want to request? So, that's it. So, so that's it anyway, it's sleek, you need. <laughs> oh, let me, let me say it now. See what Big Brother has okay. created. <laughs> it's full of things if you dare. And if you care, you can <laughs> see you there in the diary room chair. <laughs> Ta da! <laughs> Tuesday, day 63, 1 or 2 p.m. Yesterday, housemates chose halfway housemates Carl Louise and David to become permanent Big Brother housemates and chose Ziggy to move to the halfway house to make room for them. Things could go against people. You know, you being a thick girl could go against you. Um, yeah, I think unfortunately my job title doesn't do me any favours. Yeah, um, you being a stripper could have got against you with people. Yeah, I know, I think it did, you know. didn't it? Carol and Brian are at the dining table. Oh. Do you like apples? I love apples. See, I never knew, really knew there was a difference between apples before I came this house. Loads of different. So I didn't know there was a difference. There's Cox's orange pippins, she's an English variety. Yeah. And there's um, Granny Smith's gold. I've heard of Granny Smith's, but I didn't know who were. I thought all apples were Granny Smith's. Oh, I thought that was just like a name, like a second name for apples. No, no, Granny Smith's variety. Oh. Yeah. Okay, Carol. Tell him hello. I will, don't ask how he is. Won't be wrong. You are the brother. Hello, Brian. You are, um, I bought the five things you asked for. I bought um, rollies that me and Mia made with Ziggy. Um, Ziggy's bog rolled with his face on it. Um, he's shaving foam with his razor from the top white shelf. Um, picture of Snow and her mates. His hat. And Carol's worried about Ziggy being over there not eating like, enough, so she bought him fruit because he likes his fruit and um, some green tea for him just to make him feel a bit more comfortable with the others. And we're trying to know if Ziggy's okay basically because we're not allowed to shout over really. When we have, we don't find. 
like hello goodbye and sort of stuff so we just know we just wanted to know basically is he okay big brother do you think Ziggy is all right in the halfway house in all honesty I think it's a big break for him I think he needs to break away from this house away from the fact that Chanel's not here and stuff. I think it'd be good for him because otherwise he'd be sitting around talking with to people about the whole situation more and more and it's going to make him more depressed about it. So, And he was getting down about it, so I think it's going to be good for him. 2.32pm. All the halfway housemates are in the yard. Oh, my God, look. Um, Amy, your friend's oh. back, look. Oh. Your friend's back. Oh, one. Oh, is he, where is he? Is that that's, a nice, that's a nice colour. Is it a bit yeah. No, it's a um, flutter by. Uh, oh, seriously, is it the same guy? No, it's a different one. Nice it's colour, isn't it? Well, look at the colour, it's cute. They camouflage into any colour, don't they? <laughs> what happened? Whoa, 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 whoa. Ah! Oh. Oh. Where's he oh. gone? He's flown off. Oh, I don't like him. Are you OK? New housemate, David. Liam and Brian are at the smoking area. They seem to be having a good laugh. They are now. Blatantly, no. Sigs might be cooled out a bit. That's what mm. I was thinking. Mm. Well, it's something from the main house, basically, isn't it? It's permanently over in halfway they house. They don't have that pressure that they had before. Big Brother has called halfway housemate Ziggy to the diary room. Yay. <sighs> Hello, Ziggy. How are you? Yeah, I'm good. Thank you very much. As you have found on the chair are the items you requested from the main house, along with a number of presents from Carol and Brian. Oh, thank you. I'll have to send my love back to Carol. I'm actually missing quite a lot. It's a bit harder than I thought it was in there. And I miss everyone. I miss... I, I generally do miss everyone. Um, and that's everyone. From your Tracys to everyone. I've been with them so long, man, and, uh, you know, I miss them, big time. I miss Chanel, again. I wish I knew I would, but um, I've got a picture, so that's cool, you know. Um, it's been a mad few days, really has. A mad kind of little week and a half. Um, hopefully coming over here will stop me crying like a, a big girl's blouse in there, because that's what I've been doing for the last few days, um, constantly, at anything. Um, I need to stop that because it's not doing me any favours um, for me. So I hope if I come over here, learn new things about new people, see what happens. Um, if I'm back in here, you know, whenever it is, um, you know, I get to see, I get to see my friends again. Uh, then it'll be cool. Ten forty-one p.m. One hour and 46 minutes ago, Shanessa became the third halfway housemate to become a permanent housemate after winning Big Brother's Jack in the Box task. Shanessa chose Liam to replace her in the halfway house. Halfway housemates and housemates are aware that this week there'll be no nominations. Instead, all halfway housemates will face a public vote. Halfway housemates Amy, Liam and Jonty are in the common room. Well... What are we going to do now? I'm bored. I'm kind of going to get to know you for a bit. OK. And then probably just get think bored. about my own things and probably fall asleep. Nice. No, um, I want to know more, really, you about things. You just want to know things. what we know, don't you? Yeah. <gasps> yeah. yeah. No, um, no, I just want to know... Hear about other things that aren't to do with glamour modelling and the bikes because I've asked bo about both of those. So. Such as. Good night, everybody. Night, Hans. See you, see you in the morning. Well, I'll probably morning. see you in a couple of hours when you wake up. Probably. No doubt. I, I can do all that. Yeah, do us the washing in the night if you can be yeah. asked. If I get up again, I probably will. So I'll do all that. right, cheers. Night. Good night. So, tell us about do you have hobbies or oh, your horse ride? Brian comes to the diary room. Hi, brother. Hello, Brian. Brian, how are you feeling? Pretty shit at the moment. My best friend's gone. 
Like, seriously, do you want to just rip my heart out as well while you just take away all my friends? Like, like you didn't take away Chanel, but Ziggy's gone, Chanel's gone, now Liam's gone. Me and Liam came here from day one. Like, seriously, like, since I first got in here, as much as I am, I get jealous over him because he steals all the good-looking girls that I ever like. They always go with Liam. But oh, he's still my best friend in his house. He's so cool. I suppose I do look up to him a bit, because I think to myself, if I could be as cool as anyone, I'd just be as cool as Liam. Because Liam's well cool. He's like, probably like the coolest person I've ever met and stuff. And I'm just so uncool. <laughs> I'm uncool. I admit I'm uncool. I'm a bit of a gimp. And at times, I have traits of being a yogurt top. <laughs>but that's the name of the game, the, the house changes. And if Amy comes over, then it'll shake things up a good bit as well. That'll be good. Um, there's a few things I want to ask her, because things have become apparent that maybe she's been fibbing a wee bit, or, I don't know, maybe they're fibbing a wee bit. You just don't know. So I'd maybe rather she was here to defend herself and maybe prove to me that she's not as desperate as she's came across. Well, it's like saying that she wants to, to sleep with uh, Liam on television. Um, and I thought, well, that's a bit, do you know what I mean? Like, making that your goal. Well, you're, you're here to play a game, love, so do what you must. But I just wouldn't like, I wouldn't personally like to come across as that desperate to to win a game. Uh, and also, that wee snippets about things she's done with her career that maybe, perhaps, she's exaggerated. Uh, but then again, sometimes... Uh, People pick things up wrong and exaggerate and accentuate and all the rest of it. <clears throat> and you know how my gay husband likes to dramatise absolutely everything. Because I really liked her when I was in the halfway house. My witch senses were clouded by her bosoms. So her massive, impressive bosoms. 8.23pm 43 minutes ago, Big Brother announced to the halfway housemates that in a Big Brother twist, they could have full housemate status. But to make room for them, they must choose four housemates from the main house to take their place in the halfway house. They chose Carl Louise, David, Tracy, and Shanessa. I can't move myself through this, it's not worth it. You know, like this fucking game show is not worth it. Jonty, Liam, Amy, and Ziggy are in the dormitory. What? What are you thinking, Jerry, at this stage? Instead of Tracy? Um. Didn't know. I don't know. No, not really. Maybe. I just. Co I couldn't. Uh, I don't think I could have faced seeing anybody else, fight. I think Tracy was the option, really. See you later, guys. See ya. Bye-bye. See you later. I love you, girls. I love you, Trice. Bye-bye. 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 B
<laughs> no, the boys will. The boys will? Oh, yeah, yeah, the boys are one about them. Uh, the other shadies. The other shadies. And you're not used to it, no? Three shadies. I'm saying the other three shadies. Go to the Right, do you know what though? Yes. Whoever, whatever happens, best of luck to whoever gets back in. Best of luck. Yeah, baby, you yeah. know, best of luck, guys. Mm. I've had a fat time, I've been in here for nine fucking weeks, so I can't moan. Before, it's good in the hood. Oh, baby. Big brother. Yes, right, right. Listen. Uh. Oh. Oh, you're right, John Lee. Fine, thanks. Welcome to the game. Welcome to the game. You're all right. Will they let them in? Yeah. Oh, nasty, I bet. Right, big brother, we don't know about you listening to that. You are. To... Well, we're just going here if they're shouting at them. They should have let us clash, I think. It's going to be all good in the hood day. I know, but. Got three lovely ladies to deal with. <laughs> Crazy nights in. Big brother, can you hurry up, please? Lena, <laughs> so, so, so. nine tonight, we're going to go. Mmm, slutty, slutty. <laughs> I think they were disappointed that, that John T and Amy didn't fight their corner. And she also was very disloyal to them. So they're... Who was Amy? They're furious and Shanessa is feeling like she wants to go home. Huh. She's very distressed. Carol, mm -hmm. Carol got massive doubt about it. Yeah. Massive. Yeah. Carol Shay. Carol... in there. Yeah, I thought she was nice. <laughs> oh, well. Tracy. Yeah? Hello. Why do you think you were chosen to leave the Big Brother house? I think I was chosen to leave the Big Brother house <laughs> because, as Ziggy and uh, my friend Liam said, you know, Tracey's quite a strong character in this house. Um, she's been up three times. I think, I think they think that I've got no worries about getting back in there. And I, um, I know that I've been up three times and I've come through it, so I can understand their logic, really. So, so be it. Bring it on, I'm there. I don't know, man, but if I go, I go, you know. I have to deal with it. But... <laughs> 12.20 a.m. Liam, Sam, Amanda and Amy are at the pool. Liam thinks I do no work. Is that my, like, my work's easy? I don't do any hard work. She's like, yeah, I've got to work. No, it's long days. I put my back out every single time without failing. I've been at it. Show us all your, all your poses. Hey, I know the poses. Go on then, show us. Okay. <laughs> Carol and Jonty are at the dining table. All right. How, how are you getting on with Amy? Well, I haven't really spoken to her. Um, since I said she was probably the only person I didn't really want here. I don't get a very good feeling from her, actually. She's actually a really, really oh, lovely no. person. I, I have to say, initially when she came in here, yeah. I thought she was really nice, and I said to everyone, I thought she was really nice. Yeah. But, you know, as our purpose was to find out as much about you guys in a short period of time. Yeah. Because obviously we didn't know about the dinner party. Um, it was also, I felt, her duty probably to find out about us. Yes. And um, I think she sat and she targeted several people who I think are very popular outside, probably. All the halfway housemates are in the dormitory talking about Amy. The public aren't stupid. The public like mm. not to be perceived, um, deceived. And if she's playing the game where she thinks she can deceive people who she come in with, the public are going to recognise her. Yeah, it actually, it really actually annoys me that she said, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, I, uh, fuck off. I find that, that really annoying. That me know that somebody's going to be sitting there, they're going, David's not really your mate or anything like that. How dare you? She better not say that to the twins or Jerry. Big Brother has called Jonty to the diary room. How is the atmosphere in the house this evening? I think it's good. Um, Amy and I are both feeling very sad about the... Um, about the decision we made. That was the most difficult thing I've had to do since I've come here. I can't say I enjoyed that very much at all. So that's put a bit of a dampener on, on things. But it's wonderful being here. On the other side, the four people who are in there are probably, um, you know, I, I don't think you're gonna be very pleased with that. I, I, I don't suppose I, I, I would be if I were in their position. And in the house, who do you feel you're becoming closest to? 
probably Carol the most actually. Um, so yes, I think we're really we're really clicking. I feel a little, little bit bad about the fact she uh, that she's not very keen on Amy, and I think Shanessa and I might have something to do with that because when when we came over here as halfway housemates. Um, we were asked our opinions of the other ones because they only had a few hours to assess us, us themselves and it was quite helpful to get our own views of each other and obviously they'll have had a not very positive one of Amy from me and, and from Shanessa as well um, and some of the things Carol's saying I can't help wondering if that was coloured by the fact that she'd had two negative blasts from people who were living with Amy I'm, I'm hoping, because I mean, Amy and I have really um, bonded very very well together and and I now see her for what she actually is and she's somebody who's prepared to sacrifice herself with other people first. 1.27 a.m. I want to smell you! Jerry, Brian and Amanda are in the bedroom. <laughs> oh, Amanda smells nice! <laughs> Oh, you look pretty, pretty. Mm. Pretty, pretty. <laughs> Ow. I just love you. You're just Ow. pushing him away, dear. You, you, you accept it. No, it's making me giggle because you're She's always on like... top of me. Amanda, man, stop. Man, leave Let's me alone. Man, I've got a girlfriend. I've got a girlfriend for Janessa. Will you get off me, man? She's always on top of me, Jerry. Man, I'm sorry. I just don't want to get out of you. I'm sorry, man. Halfway housemates David, Tracy and Carl Louise are in the yard. Oh. I'm up again. Oh, nervous times ahead. Here, do you know what I mean? If you're my fourth time and you survive, fourth you could time. Could be a record. I don't know about that. Yeah. Yeah. It would have been nice to have done a task. I would have liked this that. is the task. Hi. Oh, Packing fucking... the shit and moving it. <laughs> <laughs> this is Big Brother. Will Amy come to the dining room? Why are you? Um, I have to press it still. Yeah, it'll just go green because they're expecting you. John's has just been in. Oh, OK. Uh. Hello, Amy. Hiya. How are you? I'm OK, thank you. How's your day been? Um, different. <laughs> um, pretty lazy day and then uh, pretty weird and stressful end to it I think but um, I'm okay now so that's cool but I do feel sort of pretty bad for the guys in the halfway house um, especially uh, Shanessa and Tracy obviously Tracy's had to leave the group that she's sort of had a, a great bond with um, and personally really gutted for Shanessa because um, I know like how much it meant to her so and who do you think you're less likely to get on with in the house? Um, the person I'm probably most uncomfortable is the wrong word, but unfamiliar with um, is Carol at the minute. Um, I know she's, you know, quite protective over her, her group. She's sort of, she is the mum of the group. But I think hopefully we'll get time to sort of have a bit of a chat about stuff and can help out around the kitchen hopefully and stuff and you know things will become more normal but it's the same with anything if you've not really talked to anyone then it's always a little bit strange 2:20 a.m. you're not funny most of the housemates are in the living area Please, I was gonna tag, please, my brother. Come on, don't you get kicked out? You've got to smash that camera. I thought it would tickle him. What? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll call myself a big shot. I don't like the doors, but yeah, no, I'm just like running away. Yeah, yeah, good one, yeah. Bed, bed, bed. Open the door. Don't make me go in that dining room. I'm after you. I haven't seen anything in this place for a long time. Brian comes to the diary room. Big brother, why aren't you looking doors at me? I just want to tap before I go to sleep. And you've locked the door and I can't have a tap, I can't have a grit, I just want to smoke a cigarette, big brother. Please, you keep following me with all your cameras, you can't open the door. Please, open the door. Hello, Brian. Hello, I need a door open, please, please. Open the door, fucking go and have a cigarette. That's what I want before I go to bed. It's been a long day. 
Seriously. I mean, seriously. I just want a cigarette and go to bed. I'm, I'm tired. And you're locking doors everywhere all around the place. It's locking doors. Certainly, Brian. All you had to do was come and ask. <laughs> Thank you. Good night, big brother. Next time on Diary Room Uncut. Is that a drink? Your luxury drink. Like snake. Is a glass of vintage olive oil. Oh, ah, my. Get it done, you Tracy! And there's more from the Diary Room. Uncut, of course, tomorrow at 10. Next up, we're live and in the house with Big Brother.